8. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Hi kids! Maayong buntag! Good morning! Welcome to GCI Philippines Online Children's Sermon. I will be with you today. I am Teacher Yo. To start with, make sure nagsiupo mo na kayong lahat. At please pay attention. May tatawagin ako. Yung hair niya ngayon ay color red. At yung skin niya ngayon ay tan. I would like to call Kimmy. Morning, teacher. Morning, kids. Good morning, Kimmy. Ngayon, to prepare us at malaman naming ready kayo, sasabayan ako ni Kimmy na magbilang. On count of three. One, two, three. You all are ready. Bye, Kimmy. See you later. Bye. Kids, I have a question. Kilala niyo ba si Jesus? Wow! Oo! Oh, oh. Siya yung nag-save sa atin. Si Jesus ay ang ating Savior. He is the Son of God na naging tao kagaya natin. He lived a life filled with love for us all. He even gave His life for us all. Ganun tayo kamahal ni Jesus. Ngayon, may video tayong papanoorin at pansinin natin ang mga ginawa ni Jesus. One day, Jesus went to a faraway place. And when people knew, they also went to the place where Jesus was. And when Jesus saw the people, he felt compassion towards them. Naawa siya sa mga may sakit and he healed them. Hanggang sa gumabi na, si Jesus, he saw the people that they are hungry. He feels compassion for them. He did not want them to go home na hungry. So Jesus made a miracle with five loaves of bread and two fishes. He was able to feed all the people. Napakain ni Jesus lahat ng tao, pati mga bata. Nabusog silang lahat. They felt the care and compassion of Jesus for them. Nakita niyo kids yung ginawa ni Jesus? Sige nga, mag-quiz nga tayo. When Jesus saw the sick people coming to him, he blanked them. Ano ang sagot? Tama! He heals them. Question number two. When Jesus saw the people hungry, Jesus blanked them. Ano ang sagot? Yes! He feeds them. Ang gagaling niya! Ganyan si Jesus. Mapagmahal at compassionate. Yung nakita niya yung mga may sakit, pinagaling niya. Yung nakita niya yung mga nagugutong, pinakain niya. Kasi, naiintindihan tayo ni Jesus. Kayo ba kids? Gusto niyo maging katulad ni Jesus? Maaari ba tayong maging katulad niya? Oo, maaari. Dahil din yun sa tulong niya. Maaari tayong maging compassionate. Kagaya ni Jesus. Yung Iniisip natin ang ibang tao, if you feel natin yung nafe-feel nila. Example, may mga nakita tayong nadapa. Masakit yon, So, isipin nyo, paano if kayo yung nadapa? Tiba ang ganda sa loob noon kung may tutulong sa yung bumangon? Sa bahay, nakikita nyo yung naglilinis si na mama or papa or ate or kuya. Maaari natin silang tulungan. O di naman kaya, may mga pagkain tayo at isi-share natin yun sa kapatid natin o sa kaibigan natin. Sa mga simpleng bagay na ito, sa mga pagtulong, sa pagiging maawain, magagawa natin maging katulad ni Jesus. At alam nyo ba, 
mas makikilala pa natin si Jesus sa pagbabasa natin sa Bible, mas makikita pa natin ang pagiging compassionate niya. Sana piliin natin maging leader si Jesus sa buhay natin. Siya sana ang ating magiging captain. Kaya, tayo na tayo kids at i-follow niyo din kami sa sayaw na ito. Ready na ba kayo? And one, two, three! tell me to walk i will talk when you tell me to talk i will go when you tell me to go and i'll stop when you say so i will walk where you tell me to walk i will talk when you tell me to talk i will go when you tell me to go and i'll stop when you say so i will run when you tell me to run i will come when you tell me to come It's memory verse time. Our verse for today is from Matthew chapter 14, verse 14. And he had compassion on them and healed their sickness. Kimmy! Yes, teacher! Sabay tayo, ha? Yes, opo! Okay, ready? Matthew chapter 14, verse 14, B. And he had compassion on them and healed their sickness. Okay, let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Thank you for your compassion. Help us to be like you, to obey our parents, to be helpful, merciful, and respectful to others. To follow you all the days of our life. We praise your name today and always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye, kids. See you lit next week. Hi, kids. We would love to see you recite today's memory verse.